I know you're sick and tired of looking for videos on how to create custom forms in Framer and you always end up, you have to buy another something, you have to do another something. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom form without having to do something else. You only have to copy and paste the code that I'm going to share with you. All right. So to get started, this is not my invention. I found another video on, you know, on YouTube, kind of buried to be fair. And I just followed the tutorial myself. And then I changed some things and made it work for my use case. In this case, I have ConvertKit. So the original one wasn't working because you have to add method post and you have to remove the redirection for the form inside the code because you have to actually set up the redirection directly inside of ConvertKit. But bear in mind that it works with SparkForm, MailChimp, whatever that might be. Um, but in this case, you are in a good treat if you have a ConvertKit account. So with <laughs> that being said, let's get started. Basically, you will copy this code, but what you need to do actually is go to the description, click on the link to remix this project and just copy it. Okay, I'm going to do everything for you here. You click, actually you go to asset, click on code, and then we're going to call it a newsletter opt-in, create. Remove everything. Oh, no, you don't remove. Yeah, yeah, you can remove everything because I just copied from the other uh, project. And then where do I click? I click here just to play and actually preview so that it's working. I don't know why the font is not working, though. Where is the font? Yeah, let me let me put Montserrat. Okay, now it's working. Perfect. All right. When you're going to copy my code, the only thing that you want to do is change your code here by your own ConvertKit code. And where do you find it? You go to your ConvertKit account. Let's go. Let's go. And then you create a new landing page. Let's say here for the sake of the example, landing page. Okay. Uh, sorry, not landing page, actually, form. And then you do inline, clear, whatever that might be. Email, that's it. You don't need anything else. And then you go here, you copy the code, come back to your project, change the code. Here you have it. And that's it. You don't have to change anything else. And if you want to uh, do it for, you know, with another software, uh, then you just have to put your, your link here. And where do you find it? This one? Uh, good question. If you go to publish HTML, if you see here the action, is here so basically it's bit i think it's the same thing for pretty much all of other softwares uh, email marketing softwares and you have to click on publish go to html embed and then look for form action equal and then copy the link here you go back to the project move put it down here that's it now if you want to change the colors of the button let's see here so you have here input type submit and you see the value read for free. Let's say you want to change read for free by, I don't know, read my newsletter or join my newsletter, which is actually boring. I don't advise to do that. Join for free just for the sake of the example here to change it. And then we want to change the color to black. So background black, that will be black. 
color is for you know the topography so you can just change for white and here you have it and so let's say you want to add a shadow i don't even know how to do that for for this form to be fair i don't want to get fancy buck shadow is that it uh, let me see i'm just gonna try some crazy thing here to be fair crazy <laughs> no 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 oh yeah i actually have to do that here yeah no working box color is that shadow uh, yeah i mean i'm just gonna abandon that for 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 this particular project you know for the custom form i'm gonna stay healthy <laughs> i don't know how to do the shadow for the button so yeah just let it be bro and uh yeah that's it now if you want to change here let's say you want to give it like a background color i don't know, you want to get fancy i don't know it's transparent is good bro just let it transparent uh the border let's say border you want to give it white so you can change it by actually you don't need that here you see let me see so now you see it's white okay so now let's say my background color is some kind of light dim black and then i put it here and here you have your form which is fully functional by the way here you have it you put your email this is not a good email by <laughs> um i have to I don't know how to put, you know, like it has to be an email thing. Let me see if I can change that type. Yeah, so type email, but that will fix it. If I go back. And I try again, something bullshit. Now it's going to say, yeah, that's an email. And I have to actually change it on my own template, for God's sake. Uh, right. So, yeah, that's perfect. Now you have it. So just go download the, uh, I mean, remix the link here on the description. And you can just come here, click on here, copy. I don't know how to actually edit code. Copy it, go back to your project, click on plus on code, assets, code, new code, name it, newsletter, past it, and you're done. That's it. Quick plug. This is my template. <laughs> if you are a creator, writer, whatever that might be and you have digital products to sell and you want to write online check out my template first link in the description actually no third link in the description because the first link of the description is going to be the remix link okay i rambled a lot see you on the next video mm -hmm.